Hey, today we are out in the garden and I am just collecting, harvesting what's ready to come up out of the ground and then I'll take them in the house and see what's going on. If you have any questions or you like what you're seeing, please subscribe and like the videos and come back and see me regularly. Alright, let's do our morning tour. It's about 11 o'clock already. See what I need to pull. These were the early tomatoes, and um, I've been pulling them regularly. Ooh, do you see him? Yes, see him. He's right there. Tomato hornworm. Let's get him. Before he eats everything. Come here, guy. We have to exterminate him. Take him out. Best way I know to do it is step on him. Alright. Glad we came and checked. Alright. This was the perfect one for him to get on. Because I've dealt with this on this tomato vine the whole season. So, it's not a total loss because we compost it, but you see that? Every tomato, and I have fertilized and everything else to fix this condition on this tomato. It's just not fixable, as far as I'm concerned. So, I'm just composting them, making use of him. You see, he even had a split on his stem. I don't know what, this is an early girl, indeterminate tomato, and the same one that was the sister tomato. Look, we've got a lot of hornworms. Here's another one. Look, he's eating, eating that tomato. No guy, we don't need you because if we leave you, if we leave you, then you will come back eat tomatoes next year so we can't leave you can't leave you sorry you're a brilliant beautiful creature but we can't have you because you will spread to the lower garden and eat up but see how much damage it did and see the poop that's its poop so if you're seeing that on your tomatoes you got to get out here you can take a black light if nothing else at night and come find that varmint all right let's see if these guys are ready they are and i don't have a fancy bag i just grab my grocery bags and come out all right yeah see there he pruned that plant for me see how they look see what they did here so that's what it looks like when you got a Tomato hornworm. Hornworm. That's probably that's a tobacco worm, by the way. Seems like that's what I have showing up here. So yeah, they did a, a lot of work right there. See the damage they can do. I and mean, I don't see any more. That's okay. I'm glad they're up here. I'll have to go check the bottom tomatoes and make sure there's not any more down there that's the most I've had at one time so that's a total of three of those this year so far and um, my granddaughter has some kind of little dragon creature that that's what they feed those things see how they ate on that tomato too yeah they're very hungry caterpillars all right, I've never recognized a moth, but they're big and beautiful from what the pictures I see. All right, nothing else to do there. I'm gonna pull those tomorrow. Leave them one more day. That's the 4th of July plant. It has been the best of all the ones that I put out here. So we got some more in there. And I had pulled everything a day before yesterday, or 4th of July, 3rd of July, and shared them with friends 
So we have a squash in there. He has yet to give a squash. I think he's just not getting enough sunlight. All right, that's some lettuce. And, uh, and it goes growing peppers. It's hot out here today, so things are curling up, conserving their energy. Let's check down here. See if this guy's giving, oh, he's got a baby, but no big ones. All right, no cucumbers. All right, we have a zucchini. You can pull him. Put him in our little shopping bag. It's like going to the grocery store in your backyard. Anybody down here today? No. It's like his limb got broke. All right, nobody under there. You have to look hard at, at your zucchinis because they kind of hide. All right. Strawberries are still blooming. And then we are getting strawberries. There's one there. I have to be careful putting these in the, the bag. They'll squish or be squished. Let's see, we got any green beans? That one's not quite ready. Let's see, we got another day before we pick green beans. I need to be planting something in here. This is a carrot. Let's see what we're doing here. Oh, let's pull this carrot. He don't want to come out. I'm going to have to get something to help pull that guy out. He don't want to come out. Look at that. He's a nice one. I'm going to have to get my spade and come back and get him. He's nice. Look at that carrot. Can you see that carrot? And the thing is, I have wire at the bottom of this thing. And he's probably put his toes down through that wire. I have a fever few in here that self-seeded from last year. That's a medicinal plant. So... I will be harvesting some of that. Go out and look that up. That's something you would like to have in your garden. Just so you can have some medicinals growing. Should you need them. You know, we've got corn going. We have peas. I've planted um, field peas in here. So they like the heat. So I typically wait and plant them after I get my green beans for the season. And I plant green beans early because we have a lot of pressure from the Mexican bean beetle here. And this is a runner. And as soon as he puts out a little, a few roots right here, he'll put some roots out. I will clip him and put him elsewhere. And he's not quite ready yet. And my fingers are dirty. I'm trying to pull that carrot up just now. And you have to look at sides of your pots when you're doing strawberries because like this one they hang over and you'll miss them okay. these guys are still blooming but not not doing much this is one of my newer beds and it's got a lot of native soil in it so it doesn't do quite as good this is where I transplanted all those that's in the pot from all right we have some there but yeah we better get that one he will be too ripe next time we come around. Put him in our grocery bag. And right now you see we got corn. That corn is filling up. I fertilized that corn yesterday. Make sure he gets a good burst of nitrogen right here at the end. I don't see any in here. The birds kept stealing my strawberries, so I have bird netting over them. So, what do we got over here? These are black-eyed Susans beginning to come up. These are 
Christmas limas. That's sage and that's a malanga and more corn. I'll have to get out here and pull some dirt up around that corn. That is some um, kale. Need to dry some more of that. That's good to add into things just to give a boost of nutrition. We don't particularly like it otherwise. I sneak it into dishes and stuff. All right, so today, one of the main things I'm out here doing is I'm going to pick some peppers. So I'm gonna come back out with some scissors and get those. So that's some more of the King Arthur, the light green peppers. That's a dark green pepper there. So this is more kale. And this silly little strawberry is trying to do something and so is this one. And that is not a strawberry, so we will pull him. He's just a weed. All right. So this is what I do if I just come out and I check my garden. Let's see if we got anything going. And I have put some peas in here. That's a tree. It's not a pea. Alright. And uh, I put peas in between because these beans are finishing up. Those were the filet beans. They didn't do great. So this is another pepper. It's getting big. Back on this side is the green beans. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to come and plant the peas in between those beans. And yeah, I need to get these. This guy's ready. So I'm just going to make some pickled peppers. I'm going to put these in a brine. See how nice that one is. Put those in the brine with some um, garlic and get those going in. Yeah, those bees. Everybody says, but there's bees. It's okay. They haven't stung me. Those are looking nice. I could pull those and let it bloom again. Yeah, we're blooming. Okay. These are looking good from yesterday. This guy is a big tomato. They don't tend to like the heat, so I don't put too much promise in them. The okra. Okra's doing good, finally. These are beans from the grocery store that I planted from a sack of just mixed beans. I'm letting those get a little bit bigger so to shell them out. And just to have a variety to eat. And there's some green beans down here that I do need to pick. So the video yesterday I was working on the tomatoes so I was interested in seeing that what they did overnight so that guy's not turning colors so he's not dying right away but that's the guy that broke that has those huge tomatoes on them right there and they're just huge and weighting down everything so Look at this one. Yep. Not sit him on top of those strawberries. And... Alright. What else down through here? We have some more ripen... ripening ones on that edge. I wanted to check these onions. So this one's still growing. This one's still growing. They're still growing. And they're getting bigger. So... I'm going to leave them be. There's another strawberry plant doing its thing. So I noticed when I was out here yesterday that some of the, the onions are not, are not viable, basically. They're not growing. Like this one. He's lost his top, so we're going to pick those up today. And I scattered onions under my tomatoes. So I'm just looking for those. And those I couldn't do anything with, so they are on the ground. I still do have some on the ground, but as you see, that trellis gave way. And it's down there on the ground. 
So when that post leaned in the other day, it just let everything go. So this guy's not gonna do anything else. So we're gonna get him. And that guy, he's done. So we're gonna get him. And what I do is I'm gonna chop this up and dry it. And that guy, I don't think he's gonna do anything else. They didn't grow very well because this ground is really hard. So this guy is still trying to grow. This guy did not. He's done. So we're gonna put him in our sack. We're gonna check on this side. Anybody else over here? I think this guy is done. He's not looking viable anymore. So we'll get him. What happened here with my onions? These are some sets that I came back and put out. This guy's done. He did okay. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna dehydrate those because I like the purple onions, but what happened was um, the onions died, the ones I had set out in the fall. So these were the ones I set out in the spring. Give that one an opportunity to do a little more. That one may still be growing. Okay. These little white ones, he's in a bad space, so I kept bumping him. So we'll get these before they rot. And those still got a little green on them. That one didn't do anything. That one didn't do anything. Alright, so we got a whole lot of lists, just little ones. And I'm going to dehydrate it. That guy's still growing. And the ground's kind of hard, but what I did was just barely put them in the ground. So, he may grow. This one's not going to grow. He's not. That was a double one. Alright, let's look on the other side. And this was actually the onion rope. And I came and set the tomatoes between them. And I can uh, cut those up and put them in the freezer and use them that way. So those are still trying. This one's not. The roly polies, I think, will start eating on them if I don't get them up. This guy's bent over. He's done. Sorry for the camera work. I'm doing this and holding the camera at the same time. But this is this my mom in the garden. It all adds up though. I mean, they're not huge, like they could be, but it all adds up. So don't discount what you can do, because it adds up. All right, that look got me finished. And this guy's still growing. All right, so we'll leave them for another day. And, uh, beans. Let's look at these beans. These beans can be picked. So I'm going to put this little bit of sack of beans in the house. And oh, we got to go get some tomatoes over here. We got to check these tomatoes on the other side. And I have to watch for my guy wire not to clothesline myself. Y'all ever done that? Clothesline yourself? I did several times as a youngster. Alright, it's not fun. And it's dangerous. It can crush your trachea. Okay. Let's get these. We're going to go ahead and get that guy. And we're going to get this guy here. Every day is an adventure out here. So this is saying this is the early girl over here on this side. 
and that's the same tomato that is not viable up there so as you see it's an indeterminate so I don't think it was the tomato variety I think it's the grow bag just whatever the grow bag the dirt is the same in that grow bag up there as down here I mean as, as all the other grow bags so I just don't think it wanted to grow up there and you see we got beans so here's the view from the tomato rows back there is some flowers oh I see a squash we gotta go get all right let's go get that squash so I don't have a lot of room between my rows so let's set the bag down Get this little squash. He's hiding back here away from the squash bugs. I don't have a knife to get him. There we go. Alright, and that's my fence back there. Alright. Being careful. There's a long tomato back here. Alright. So, we emerge from the abyss. Here at 11 something in the morning. And let's check the very front row. Hello, bees. I'm not hurting you, bees. These are always beautiful. And I do have to address the Egyptian onions who are too close. But for now, we're going to let them be. There's a tomato. I see what looks like. Hornworm damage right there. Y'all see that? Let's look him over. Could be. Um, Japanese beetle. Well, if it was hornworm, I'm not locating it right this minute. All right. I don't see any other nibbles or anything else. On that little heart-shaped tomato. We have a pepper down there. The other one, the hornworm ate. The one that was mixed out. So we have basil. We have some more peppers that I'm gonna come get. And peppers. And let's check this guy. He's looking good. Alright, these that's beans we're gonna come pick. And so this is where we're just pulling the onion. Alright, so I think I've checked everybody. And uh, look at that. Is that not a sight? All those tomatoes right there? That was the early tomatoes. Right. <laughs> I'm going in. It's just already got hot out here. I should get out here earlier. But um, I try to get a lot of things done in the house before I come out here. But um, yeah, I didn't see any hornworms up through there. So I have to be very vigilant in the next day or two because we did see those earlier. Alright guys, I'm going to go in the house and then I'm going to come back in a little while and I'm going to pick those beans and I'm going to get the peppers. I'm going to bring a pair of scissors because I want to keep the stem on those peppers. Alright, see you later. Bye. Here's an onion tip for you. I was just crying my eyes out because I am processing these little onions from my garden and I just couldn't hardly see so I realized. Turn on my stove and on high, put the plate under there, and continue working with no more tears. So that's your onion tip for today. Second onion tip for the day, after you finish processing your onions, wash your hands in some cold water with a stainless steel spoon or whatever, and that takes the onion smell off your hands. I'm going back out to pick the beans. It's cooled off a little bit. Not the heat of the middle of the day. And I'm going to pick beans and peppers. And um, I got a pint and a half of chopped up onions from those little onions I pulled earlier. I wanted to touch on briefly about the uh, green beans. To make the green beans keep producing, blooming, you got to pick the mature beans off and then you will get another flush of blooms. And usually you get 
three, four, five of those flushes, and you get less beans each time, but um, you can prolong your beans that way. And normally I do that, and and my bush beans are usually in a little bit earlier than these, but if you don't, if you don't remember, I had to replant these three, three times because slugs kept eating them. So once I got the slug bait down, I got my beans growing. So these are a little bit late. Normally I would have some English, uh, field peas put out on the second round by now. So my field peas, uh, I may not get as many this year, but that's the way it rolls. Sometimes you, your garden does better than others and you just have to figure out who your adversaries are in the garden, just like you do in life. Um, and pray over it and hope that you get the best harvest possible. All right, I'm getting to pick these beans because we look like we might have another evening thunderstorm coming through. So I picked this many beans and I got that pepper, two peppers. So now I'm going to snip these peppers and put them in a brine for my husband. All right, on to it. And this is the peppers and carrot from today. We've got tomatoes and a zucchini and a cucumber and a squash. That's the green beans. So what I'll do is just uh, rinse those off and I'll keep them in the refrigerator until the next green bean picking and then I will can those and I think I'm going to end up pulling everything else out of the raised beds and put my peas in uh, a week late but um, better than nothing all right thank you for stopping by as we learn adapt and grow please like subscribe and ring the bell for notifications appreciate you stopping by bye those are the birds that are eating the sunflowers they're yellow like the sunflowers and this is what we do afterwards